this is a still image showing you uh, this is the cervix of a gravid uterus measuring 3.79 centimeters this is the cervix uh, of uh, almost 20 weeks gestational age of strictly scan with the history of uh, large for dates and uh, what we see is that first of all note that this is the cervix that I have shown you and see where the placenta is ending. The placenta is posterior wall, no doubt, but it's much above the os. Here I want to show you. This is the placenta, lowest margin, and uh, here is the internal os, this being the uh, cervix, this area, and uh, the placenta is approximately six centimeter away from the internal os, so though posterior wall, but it's uh, you know not ex marginal or exceeding the uh, this is the femur this is the femur this is the second femur tibia fibula and now this is the transfer section of the fetal abdomen and uh, we can see the um, uh, vertebral column in total. This is the cephalic end, this is the caudal end, and this is the vertebral column. Here, down when I come, you see the pulsation of the aorta. Well, this is the aorta. So, the fetus is alive. Here lies the stomach bubble and uh, it's a breech presentation as we can see that the both legs are seen close to the cervix. We are seeing it close to the cervix, both the bones. This is the urinary bladder and uh, This is the kidney. What I am showing you is, especially I uh, wish to show you the stomach bubble, here it is. This is the heart, you can see the flicker and uh, this, the kidney. This is the kidney, this area. This is the kidney. So kidney is present, urinary bladder is seen. The problem is that here is the brain uh, with no skull bone around. This area is the fetal brain and you do not see any skull around it. So this is a case of acrania. Uh, this is the cervical region of the spinal cord and uh, there is no abnormality seen relating to the as any other organ. I've gone through all of it and did not see any abnormality. It is the, in fact, the gestational age, 19 weeks. Weight is 271 gram and uh, the gestational age is 19 weeks. See the primary gravida and the, here is the brain. I am giving a full sweep to the part, uh, area of the brain to show you uh, that it does not change its shape. It remains such as such and uh, then This is the eyeball, this area is the eyeball, and this is the other eyeball, second one.
You can see that the amount of the amniotic I'm not, I'm not fluid, I interpretation tells you that this is more than normal. There is polyhydramnios, indeed. And uh, the brain is being perfused normally. The patient is restless, otherwise I would have shown you the middle cerebral artery. I did take the measurement and it was with a normal. This is the circus of bilis in front of you and the fetus is hyperactive. Let's see if we can get it in a short time. The middle cerebral artery was any eight minutes. Because of the uh, movement of the uh, fetus, fetus is very active, hyperactive because of the pathology mentioned. Now this vessel shows us the uh, resistive index of 0 0.0048 with pulsatile index of 0.65 and this is from the villus surface of, uh, of the villus. Now the umbilical cord. What's left is, is the umbilical cord. Here you are seeing the hand, the thumb. The cardiac activity. is with a normal range. Cardiac activity, the cervical region, the neck and the head. A crania. No skull bone seen. And uh, the distance of the eyes is in favor of acanthia. Moving randomly, I'm sorry, here is the umbilical cord. Artery velocity is uh, 30.7 centimeters per second, and uh, it's a resistive index 
is 0.66. The resistive index is 0.66, which is within normal. And uh, <coughs> so this is uh, our case of the day, which is uh, in fact posterior placenta, polyhydramnios, and uh, acrania, acrania, no skull bone formation seen with the rest of the uh, ultrasound being normal. The largest single ultra, uh, amniotic fluid pocket with no fetal parts included or umbilical cord included measures 8.7 in from this location and is indeed more than normal. Thank you very much.